back when you were younger, you had a babysitter, correct? Oh, yeah. Named Misty? Misty? How do you know that? I mean, we're friends, you know? I feel like we have to have, you know... How do you know about tour. Misty? That's fucking weird. <laughs> you did this, too. I feel like on another one of yours. I do it for I every it. single you one. You find, like, a really weird, abstract... How do you know about Misty? Hello. My name is Christian Lee here for Irum Digital. We're here with Lauren Louise of Girl House. Yes, and how are you doing on this lovely day? Really, really nice. Um, took a long walk this morning. Got a, started to get a little too hot, but then I was almost home, so it was great. How when, about you? When you say a long walk, was it just, just down the hill and up? Honestly, that hill is like enough, that's but crazy. no, they, I walked I walked like a mile a day. Oh, that's um, good. No, I walked like two miles there and back. But it, um, yeah, it was really nice. That's nice. It was lovely. Same with me. Like my goal for every day is to get like ten k steps. That's what I do every day. Yeah, a lot. There you go. No, and it's amazing. It is great. It really is game changing. Mm -hmm. You just go for a little mental health walk like yes. every day. Why not? It's great. Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah, yeah. Walks are underrated. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> now that we have that the yeah. pleasantries out of the way, yeah. let's talk about the music. Okay. And so you release your fourth EP. Yeah. Uh, on May 4th. Yeah. Was that a coincidence because you're a big Star Wars fan? or I do like Star Wars. And I also just like, as we were talking about before, I love space mm -hmm. so much. Um, so did you purposely put it out, out like on May 4th? Yeah, because I thought it would be cute. It was and it was. Cool. Yeah. It was adorable. Mm -hmm. And then I've noticed, you know, it's. I think it's also cute that you every EP is like first EP, second EP, third EP, fourth EP. Yeah. It's very cool. I'm like kind of unofficially calling it like the EP project because I mm. really like this whole project, like Girl House as a whole has just been so much about like finding my voice and like what I want to say and what I want to do. I feel like the EPs, they all kind of represent different sounds and parts of myself that I wanted to express. And so, yeah, like it, it's kind of like it was an experiment in its way. And um, I'm just really happy that it's kind of over, but also sad. Well, it's a good uh, fly. It is a crazy fly. <laughs> I want to know what's next. Is there's this uh, singer named Holly Humberstone, mm -hmm. big fan of her, mm -hmm. and she's done projects where you know she's dropped EPs, but then when she did uh, her not her uh, debut album, but her like project before that, she you know put some songs in EP, some new ones, mm -hmm. but then she didn't label the album. She's like, oh, this is just my latest project. Yeah. What do you think about doing something similar with like you know some songs from each EP, putting it together in a project? I have thought about that, but I don't know because I have this song called Concussion that's done really really well. Yeah, I mean, a big fan. Yeah. At this point, it has ten million streams. Yeah. That's like so cool. Isn't that crazy? That's yeah. nuts to mm -hmm. me. Um, but I really with with all four EPs. Um, I want to like celebrate that song a little bit more. And then I have a couple other songs too, that it's just like, when you release things so fast, I think it's like, you don't really have time to really like sit with certain songs. Yeah. And so, I don't know. I just like appreciate people listening to them so much. I really want to give them a little bit more love. Maybe do like an official, official video for concussion instead of this mm. like really shitty video that I made on my iPhone with like a bunch of shit I found from Goodwill <laughs> like actually make like a real produced like budget video for yeah, that one and like can. this song called The Fatalist as well yeah that's your even though one. I really do like the video for that because it was really really fun and funny but I feel like I can take it just like a little bit more seriously if I make like a high budget higher yeah, budget you definitely can because I know uh for example like Lucy Dacus mm -hmm. For Night Shift, mm -hmm. she, you know, didn't drop music video, but then, like, I think for the 10-year anniversary of the song she did, it's yeah. crazy good. Yeah. God, I love Lucy. I know. My friend just ran into them in Nashville. Oh, really? And I was so jealous. They were Dang. just sitting on the... Um, oh, Boy Genius? Well, uh, Lucy and Julian were all at dinner or mm. something, and my friend FaceTimed me and was like, oh, my gosh. And I was just, like, <sighs> sitting there, and I was like, I fucking... So right? When, when, when you left Nashville? I know. Uh... Uh, That's crazy. But I love them. I love all of them so much. I know. They're great. And I'm wondering, too, because, you know, I love your music, but it's definitely, like, on the, I would say, a little bit darker, darker on the moodier side compared to your oh. other group, Wild. Yeah. And I, if I had to compare, I would say, you know, Wild is, like, 
Archie comics, and yeah. then Girl House <laughs> is kind of like Riverdale, you know? Totally. I like that. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, but a good descriptor. Yeah, I feel like Girl House, none of us are one thing, right? Yeah. We're not always happy all the time. We're not mm-hmm. always sad all the time. And I feel like um, Wild is such a collaboration, and it really is like a place to talk about and like, I don't know, just like celebrate the good times. And we want to just focus on that. And I love that about that project. Um, but then Girl House kind of gave me permission to just tell just my story, yeah. you know, and not wild is more about the human experience. Like it's about like, like the joy of like community and love and friendship and things like that. While Girl House is more about like, like your experience, my experience. Yeah. yeah. And so I love wild and Girl House for the, like equally, but like I have a really, I don't know, like a warm place in my heart for the Girl House project, and so it's been really, really good. Yeah, and some of my favorite songs, obviously Concussion. Mm-hmm. You have some good ones like, like Gen X Boyfriend, oh, Paul Bart, Paul Bart Mall Cop. Oh yeah, some great titles. Oh yeah. But I'm wondering because you know you say it's all your experiences too. So is it true like you got in a crash in your Honda Civic for Concussion? Oh yeah, that's crazy. I also drive a Honda Civic too. Oh yeah, yeah. what year? 2018. 20. 20- 18 mm-hmm. what color it's like gray fun mm-hmm. okay classic yeah classic civic what color. was your honda civic okay it was in 1981 81 wow. orange the first year of the four-door civic so this is like it looks kind Being of historic. like an old like mercedes um and it would be a classic car if it wasn't a fucking honda civic yeah. you know like <laughs> it was the, like that let's be real but i would always like it was a stick shift I love driving around LA, like in that car, because it was just like, I don't know, the interior, everything. It just didn't have air conditioning and it broke down all the time. And there was like black stuff that came out of the exhaust. So I, um, after the crash, I was just like, I can't afford to fix everything that needs to be done. It probably costs more to like fix it than like buy a new car. And I had no money at the time. Um, And so I was just, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't save her, but um, love that car. Great memories, great memories. Oh yeah. All right, but let's also tell, let's let's circle back a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so you know, we also you talked about Lucy. We mm-hmm. talked about Julian a little bit. Like, who are some of your favorite artists that like inspire you to make music? Caroline Polachek is like one of the most inspiring people yeah. ever. I just also like I I'm 32, and so seeing a woman who did another project like Chairlift, Chairlift, so good. Like, and a successful project like Chairlift. Uh-huh. And then just, like, being in her 30s and, just yeah. and like, continuing to just, like, fucking, like, I don't know, smash the patriarchy that says that we can't exist past, mm-hmm. like, 30 as a woman. Like, it's just so inspiring. And she's just making, like, the coolest music and, like, not letting anyone, like, compromise her art. Yeah. Like, whatsoever. At least that's what it seems to me. I just think she's really, really cool. Like, really awesome. Yeah, her, I think, uh... Robin, Kylie Minogue, you know, all oh, of them. Oh, yeah, Crazy. definitely. Charlie. Oh, Have you listened to the song that With, she put out Barbie? for Bobby? Yeah, Speed Drive. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I was just listening to it's it insane. today. Dude, that, that's like yeah. crack. I know. It's crazy. Everything that Charlie does is mm-hmm. crack. Crack, cocaine. Yeah. Yeah, exactly like that. Right? <laughs> but, okay, outside of Caroline, anyone else? Or? <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I mean, yeah. Like, I'm... I've really gotten into um, uh, Ma- Ma- Maddie. What's the, she's British, and I've been listening to her nonstop. Maddie? She has that song "Run." Mm. Like, mm, it's on Pop Sauce. Pop Sauce. That you know that playlist. Yeah. I'm, I woke up to it's it funny. today. What the frick is it? So obviously, like, really, really, um, really indie. You know. Brandon, make sure you cut this part out until she finds it. <laughs> no. Nope. Maisie Peters. Oh, Maisie Peters. To okay, yeah, yeah. Nonstop. Uh-huh. That album is so good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm in my pop bag right now. Mm, I'm that. always really inspired by um, K-pop artists as well. Really? Oh yeah, New Jeans. New Jeans XG, is great. XG. Is K-pop right? Yeah. Um, I just like found them today. Yeah. Yeah, because I did see on your Instagram, you did follow a few K-pop groups like Ace and everything too. I love K-pop. But I just found KG today. And so I was listening to that Girl Gang song. It was amazing. I'll listen to that later. Oh, yeah. 
I can't tell. Look at the cool like outfits that they're it's in. That's nice. So cool. Yeah, we'll have to show down the screen later. Yeah, put it on the screen. Like four million views. I know. Listens. Yeah, I can't. They look like they're from space. Yeah. But you Maybe know, when you're in K pop, you got to stand up. Are you sure they're K pop? No. I've never heard of them until you just told You've me You've never now. heard of X G? No. Okay, that's crazy because I just listened to them today. Exactly. Them so today. I don't know why you're. You've never heard of exactly. them? Exactly. <laughs> that was crazy. No, they don't even. They look so cool. They do cool. They look they really, look cool. really cool. I think they're just like from space. <laughs> space pop? Could be. Space pop, that would be. Ooh, that's a great genre. Okay, now I have to start another project about space pop. Let me make sense. Anyway. Anyways, yeah, back on track. <laughs> okay. And so, you know, I didn't want to say it, but yeah, you did out your age. You're 32. Yeah. And I am also a little bit on the older end, I guess. I'm 20. I'm going to turn 27 this year. Oh, my gosh. How do you feel about turning 27? It's just weird just being in your late 20s. People, I remember really, really freaking out about 27, but 27 was like. Well, 27, I think is okay. I think it's my, it was my favorite age. Really? Other than 11. 11, like, fucking rocked. Okay. Um, but like, twenty seven was great. I think I freaked out more about turning twenty six because I'm like, oh, now I'm like in my like mid twenties now. Oh yeah, yeah. well, twenty seven. I'm like, okay, no, you're well it. into your twenties. Yeah. Um, yeah, thirty was great too. Turning thirty was awesome, even though it was in pandemic. Mm-hmm. But oh yeah. I stuff. It was quiet. It was nice, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're thirty two. I'm about to turn twenty seven. Mm-hmm. But I feel like both of us, we kind of have like baby faces in a way. Thank you. Yeah. Baby. I love you're being welcome. baby. Mm-hmm. Would well, you get that though? You're like, oh, like people think you're uh, younger than you look? Oh, yeah. When I was an actress, people, I was like 25, and people were always saying that I looked like 13 or something. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I just got, I got like one of those faces, I guess, which is great. It, but I don't know. I feel like one day it's going to really hard, hit a hard turn. Yeah, but that's going to be way down the line, you know? You know, like, it's just, like, one day I just wake up and, like, crackling. I'm cr- my face is, like, just every, every, all over the place. Jowls. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm excited for my jowls. That's your next uh, era you're excited for? Yeah, my jowls era is going to be great. <laughs> but, you know, we're both, like, uh, I would say, I wouldn't say, like, we're, like, middle age for younger people, you know? Middle age for younger people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. yeah it makes sense right <laughs> totally <laughs> but you know you know when you're at this age i feel like it's a little bit harder to make friends do you agree or no? i feel like i don't know i started leaning into the friends that i have had my whole entire life so like i have friends from like preschool wow that i like kind of reconnected during that time mm, yeah, with yeah. during that time same and then like i don't know now i just like i got back from like a big trip and i was hanging out with all of them and I was like, wow, yeah, these are, like, all the best people in the entire world. Like, it just feels like, over time, a well-curated group, you know? Yeah. And so... Um, like pop sauce. Just like pop sauce. Very well-curated pop. Um, yeah, that's it. I have the pop sauce of, of friends. Okay. But how would you like to make a new friend today? Would you Would you like to be friends? We're already friends. Oh, thank you so much. We're already friends. All three of us. All three of us. Forever. We have two guest rooms. So oh, wow. I'm moving in right away. You guys just let us know. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. But a thing I like to do for friends now that we're officially friends okay. is, is uh, my love language is giving gifts. I have one gift for you. What? And I felt like it's a little similar to your music. And I know you're a fan of this artist. And it is Punisher. Oh, thanks. My Phoebe Bridgers. You gave this for, you, this is for me to that keep? That is for you to keep. This isn't just a thing for the... No, no. Thing. We're not going to talk to the camera. I'm like, hey, give it back. Uh, you know, no. Oh, thank you. I don't have this. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. That is so sweet. What did you give Wallace? I gave them a Big Thief album. I know you're a big, oh, big fan of Oh, yeah. Too. I have those, though. So uh, this uh, is good. Dr. Dog one. Sick. And then, I forgot. There was a third one. I forgot. Sick. Mm-hmm. I love Dr. Dog as well. I got to see them live at um, Moon River Festival. It was mm-hmm. great. All right. And now that we got all this stuff out of the way, let's ask some more fun questions okay. too. Okay. And so first one is, 
this is another thing I, I could tell we're going to be good friends because you're the same as me on this one. Is is it true you're an ordained minister? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was taking um, Trump's presidency really seriously. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I felt like I needed to get ordained. Have you married anyone yet? No, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see. If, we'll see. If I need to. I'm I mean, open for bookings. So. <laughs> I mean, I'm ordained too. Maybe I can marry for you. You can marry for me. You know? Perfect. Wonderful. Yeah. We'll, see. we'll see. I'll give you a call. And also too, uh, back when you were younger, you had a babysitter, correct? Oh, yeah. Named Did, Misty. Misty? How do you know that? I mean, we're friends, you know? I feel like we have to have, you know. How do you know about or... Misty? That's fucking weird. <laughs> You did this too. I feel like on another one of yours. I do it for watch, every single you one. You find like a really weird abstract. How do you know about Misty? Tell me. Hmm? I, I'm a journalist. Can't reveal my sources. No, but tell me. I'll tell you, you after the camera's off. <laughs> okay. But tell me more about Misty, though. <laughs> a more uh, about Misty. Mm -hmm. I haven't talked to Misty in like forever. She I um, yeah, since you were young. Yeah, she's. But how was she as a babysitter? She's great. She uh, much a lot of BET. How do you know this? <laughs> oh wait, I must have said this, right? Who knows? I feel like I did. Now that I va I vaguely remember that. Yeah, she like had a lot of um. She loved music, and so I feel like that's when I got into like music videos and like <laughs> liking music it was honestly Misty. Wow, but, okay. yeah. Interesting. It is interesting. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything more we'd like to talk about? Oh, yeah. And, you know, so uh, you make music now, but, you know, you've also done, I don't know why I said, said like that, but you've also <laughs> done, you know, like theater musicals, and uh -huh. you've also had your time as an actress, too, you know? Mm -hmm. This one's like common knowledge, you know, you're on an episode of Grimm. I was on an episode of Grimm. I got mm -hmm. to play a mermaid. But I, awesome. you were, you used to be a, I don't, I wouldn't say you were a professional, but you were classically trained in opera right mm -hmm. yeah i thought that was going to be my vibe um but then i just got really really into like uh i don't know just like the musical theater and like theater scene and i took acting classes to kind of help with that like um dream but um i think i ultimately just ended up having more fun just like I don't know, doing plays and stuff and getting into characters. I love that, which I guess you can do with opera. I think it was just more of a niche competitive industry where the people that do it are like so amazing and like work their ass off. And I think I'm just like, I want to say I'm like not that hard of a worker, but I have to like really, 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 really want to do it. And so it just wasn't for me, but I enjoy opera so much. I really want to go now that I'm back here. I want to go to the, um, like the LA Phil and yeah, and go see a a show. Which one do you think is more fun? You know, acting and like portraying in you know theater, plays, musicals, or when you would make like fake trailers and like Movie Maker. <laughs> um, which is more fun? Yeah, definitely Movie Maker. <laughs> definitely Movie Maker. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'm like, this isn't a movie, but I do want to show you this, and we'll like end the interview here. Okay. And I want some context behind this because I think this is a really cool music video. I think for that its I time, made? Is it yeah, that I made. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think you know you're familiar with this too. Was this one? Um, Who is it? Yeah. <laughs> is this your grandma? Who is this? No, that was like my grandma's best friend, Molly. Oh. That's my sister. <laughs> Dang, technology has gone so far, huh? I know. <laughs> She had just seen, um, she just saw, like, the, what is that, the, the camera on the laptop, yeah. like, the webcam, uh -huh. like, she just discovered that for the first time, and, like, I, like, showed that to her, and she was like, oh, my God, this is so cool, <laughs> and I was just, it was great, I'm glad that I, like, had the instinct to just record her, and then it was weird, because everyone started singing God Bless America for some reason. And I don't know why. Yeah. It's a really small town in Central California, but uh, it was weird. <laughs> but it was great. It was so fun. Okay. Well, thank you for taking time to the interview. This was a lot of fun. Oh my gosh! Thanks for hiking up the hill yeah. to come and anytime. Hang with I would me do it anytime. Great.
But before we turn off the camera, is there anything you would like to plug? Anything else? I know you're. Oh wait, you're going to go on tour I'm with Yoclore. I'm going Yo on tour with Yoclore. Um, and San Diego, we'll, we'll see you there. Oh, sick. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, I'll see you guys there. Yeah, August and September. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have, we're making plans to do our first headline this winter. And so definitely need people to come to that. But it <laughs> yes. won't be in San Diego. It would probably be in like LA That's fair. or something. That's fine. Um, but if you guys aren't up here, we'll, 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 really we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk. Guys. Okay, cool. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. It was You're nice welcome. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you.